Hi, this is Elizabeth Lee. I'm a plastic surgeon in Lafayette, California in the East Bay in the San Francisco area. And today we're talking about one of my favorite processes, which is cool sculpting. So in this short video, I'm hoping to touch on several different aspects of cool sculpting. Of course, the before and after photos, what are the questions that people ask, a little bit of science about how it works, what to expect with the recovery, and what areas can be treated. I like to start with the before and afters because I'm a plastic surgeon. I can do liposuction, I can do tummy tucks. The only reason that I would bring a non-surgical process into the office is because it works. So this is one of my typical patients. And she had a single session with multiple different applications in order to fully treat this lower abdominal area. But I think that you can see that she has not just a significant reduction in her lower abdominal bulging, but she has improvement in the tightening of the skin so that when you look at the preoperative photos and you see all these stretch marks that women get during pregnancy, we've been led to believe that those stretch marks mean the skin will never tighten up again. And in fact, with liposuction, it's hard to get the skin to tighten, but cool sculpting tightens skin over time. So when you look between the top pictures and the bottom pictures, you can actually see that her skin has tightened up beautifully, better than I can do with liposuction in the operating room. We treat back fat, bra rolls, as well as the lovely muffin top. And this is a patient who had a single treatment session with multiple applicators. And these are her six month post treatment results. She's thrilled. But I'm going to brag a little bit here. You know, not everybody does cool sculpting in exactly the same way. I'm really pleased to say that Artful Surgery and my office have been one of the seven locations in the entire United States who've worked with the makers of cool sculpting to help develop the protocols for their new applicators. And while the process works, there's an art to designing the treatment so that patients get the best results. If you look at the patient on the left side of the screen, what you can see is the drawing of the placement of four applicators indicated by the straight lines to allow for enough overlap that we're fully treating the area of concern and we're double treating the major bulge areas, but it's all done at the same session. When you look at the upper pictures of the arms, you see the applicator ap the applicators marked out for where they're going to go, and we're using two applications on each arm to fully treat the length of the arm and make sure that we get rid of the entire bulge. And when you look at the bottom right, lastly, you can see that this patient has very little muffin top, but enough to bother her, and she's differently shaped on each side. So it's important to be able to design the treatment program well so that her shorter, wider bulge on the left is treated a little bit differently than the taller, smoother bulge on the right. And this is where expertise matters. We can treat a lot of areas on a woman's body. And we can treat men too. So let's look at a couple more before and afters. This is a male patient who works out at the gym, is a good body weight, and no matter what he does, he can't get rid of these love handles. And so when you look on the right, you can see a difference inside the circles drawn in the contour. And he's got a smoother contour after the treatment. But it's also important to look on the left side of the picture where you get a vision of a more chiseled angled line from his shoulder down to his lower back and that is what he was looking for and he's really happy too. 
this is a woman works out all the time and she was bothered by the shape of her upper arms, particularly on the back. You can see she has excellent muscle tone, but in that the back of her arm, she had some looser skin and more fat than she liked, and she got fabulous results with cool sculpting. And you can see the much straighter line of her posterior arm. I'm a plastic surgeon. I love doing facelifts. I love doing neck lifts. Not everybody wants to have surgery. It is fabulous to be able to offer a non-surgical treatment that can get patients this kind of result. Everybody comes in with questions. They can get information from the internet, but it is really important to have an in-depth consultation so that you can understand what the process does, what you can expect, and what it feels like. So is cool sculpting the right choice? You should be a person who has been at a stable body weight and yet has noticeable bulges, unwanted fat that you're always struggling to get rid of. Liposuction may not be something that you're interested in. And it also works great as a process for somebody who is actually losing weight, doing really well, struggling with a plateau. And we can help you keep moving down that really good path of getting, your, getting yourself in great shape by doing some cool sculpting. Everybody always wants to know what it feels like. And it is a comfortable procedure. We do not medicate people. We don't need anesthesia. Um, you sit and watch TV, but at the beginning of the cycle, the applicator is a suction applicator and it draws your tissue up into the suction cup and that can feel a little pinchy, but that usually resolves within a minute. When we apply the cold, you'll feel cold, but you get numb really quickly. And at the end of the cycle, as we do massaging and your tissue is warming up again, you're, it can burn a little bit like when your toes are frozen and numb and you go into a warm place and as you get start, they start warming up you get this tingling feeling and that also lasts for a couple of minutes if that long. The makers of cool sculpting often talk about getting multiple treatments done over time. As a plastic surgeon I would much rather treat you in one treatment session and that treatment session will be as long as we need in order to get you fully treated with as many applicators as we plan. And you should know that in our office, the four machines at the same time and therefore cut down on the time that you need to do this. So what to expect as you get your treatment? This is a no downtime procedure but it's not a haircut. We are doing something to your body. Your skin will be a little bit numb. You'll wake up the day after the treatment and feel like you did the workout of the century. You'll feel a little bit sore, but if you were sore from a workout, you would go to work and that's what you can expect. You may have some swelling that resolves within three weeks and the fat cells that have been put into apoptosis, meaning that they have been shut off and are gone for good are gradually broken down over four to six months after the treatment. Skin tightening goes on for up to a year. Here are some more before and afters. This is a patient who got back into a bikini after we did her treatment and it is important I think to also look at the quality of her skin. Obviously the bulge of her lower abdomen is better as well as the bulges of her muffin top and these three-quarter views, but look at how much her skin has tightened up even with all those stretch marks in there. That's something I could never do with just liposuction. Tightening up skin would require a tummy tuck. This is the treatment of the inner thighs. You know, those bulges that we sometimes get that can be uncomfortable rubbing under clothes. And this is another patient, lower back, 
and bra fat being treated as well as her abdomen. And you can see the great improvement in her contour, both on the back and in the belly. And we can treat the upper knees. I can't begin to tell you how many women come in and say, I hate the way my upper knees look. And now we can have a cool mini applicator and we can improve that contour. This woman was wearing knee length shorts before we got her comfortable with the way her knees looked. This guy is a martial artist. He's obviously in great physical shape. He came in saying, no matter what I do, I can still pinch this fat in my lower back. And I, I cannot get rid of this roll when I sit down in, in um, I, of my lower abdomen. And I want to get rid of that. And you can see when you look between the picture on the bottom left and the picture on the bottom right, not only does he have a better contour right along his sides, but look at how the dimples of his lower back show better than they did before. The makers of, of Cool Sculpting are continually working to create new applicators that are shaped differently and work a little bit differently to treat different areas of the body. We work with all of them. So a little bit of science, just for those who are curious. Fat cells can be treated by cold because they go into programmed cell death when exposed to cold. That is significant because we actually don't make any new fat cells after late childhood, early adolescence. So as adults, we have the absolute number of fat cells we are ever going to have. And if we can decrease the number of cells in an area that we're treating, we can permanently change body shape in that area. So we expose the fat cells to the cold, a percentage of them will go into programmed cell death, and your body then has mechanisms to break them down over months, which means that we're decreasing the thickness of the fat layer in the area that we're treating, and we're decreasing your fat storage capability in that area. There are other technologies that claim to do the same thing as cool sculpting, and the major difference, besides the fact that cool sculpting works the best, is that the apoptosis or shutting off of the fat cells that occurs with cold is totally different than the injury that kills fat cells using technologies that cause heat to the fat cells. The healing process and the fat removal process is much easier when induced by cold towards apoptosis than when necrosis or cell death is induced by injury with heat. I hope you found that informative. I'd love to have the opportunity to answer more questions. Feel free to visit us at artfulsurgery.com. Thank you.